and I'm really looking forward to it because it's 2020. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> 2020 was a weird one. I wasn't really expecting to spend this much time in my room this year. Um, nonetheless, I did get signed, which is awesome, and I had some really amazing moments that happened throughout the year. So let's go all the way back to the beginning, and here we are in January. I hope you guys enjoy. It is the third of January. I'm gonna do my first ever Instagram live stream. I really enjoyed doing these throughout the year because it meant that I got to talk to you guys. Not only that, I did my first support slot, which was supporting Moses Wade, who just came off tour with Jules Holland. Skip to my first London gig. I'll buy a van. I'll do it out. Which was in a venue called The Bedford in London, and it had a gorgeous roof, gorgeous ceiling, or whatever you want to call it. It was kind of like a circus tent. It was amazing. There you go. Way, that's it. Uh, the crowd was really great as well. Um, really lovely gig. And then uh, Lewis, the pianist, drove us all the way back. Um, and yeah, had a coffee meeting the next day and chilled out a little bit, waiting for the next gig. And the next gig was actually a festival down in Cardiff. Uh, it was a really wonderful festival called a Mast Fest. Um, and then I did my first ever pub quiz and then went to London for the second time of the year um, to play for what is called a Cedars Night uh, for a very wonderful app called Tracked. Uh, and these guys that own the app are actually going to be quite a big part of my year this year. Um, and I stayed with this very wonderful man called Grant, who I've known, there he is, who I've known for quite some time, um, who is now my manager. But we're getting way ahead of ourselves, so we need to track back a little bit. Um, and here I am, kind of heading through London, walking to the um, coach station, ready to catch my bus. And then shortly after this, I went all the way to Hastings to play the second festival of the year, which was called Big Fat Tuesday. Uh, it was a really cool festival. It was a Mardi Gras festival throughout multiple venues. So I got to perform in front of multiple crowds of different people. So that was really fun. Um, and then I drove all the way back. And throughout all these gigs and all these festivals, I was having meetings and filming live sessions of songs that I was still in the middle of writing and meeting up with old friends at gigs, seeing my friends at gigs, and also going to waterfalls, meeting up with the producer Charlie Francis, and having a bit of free studio time thanks to USW. Um, I can't really play drums, but uh, this guy can. So <laughs> um, yeah, I got some really nice demo tapes. Then we did three gigs in one day. Uh, this is the second one. And the third one, which is this one, was a fundraising event for flood victims. And then shortly after that, this happened. So I think today counts as um, the first day of UK lockdown in the coronavirus, I think. It was, and I kept busy and carried on writing while being in lockdown. Producing and recording videos for you yeah. guys and keeping myself busy. Um, thinking about all the gigs that I did at the beginning of the year and how fun they were and hopefully hoping that maybe in the months to come I would be able to start gigging again. And then this happened. Hello, I hope you're okay. I thought I'd give you a quick update. I've been quite quiet lately. Um, I've been working with Dave Stewart on a release, which is crazy. Um, also got gifted 5,000 British sterling pounds. Thanks to Tracked, uh, I won their competition, their lockdown competition with Dave Stewart and bought a bunch of new gear for my home studio. First day eating out while the virus is still a thing. Yeah. So I did the eat out to help out scheme with my friends and then also filmed the official music video for Tell Me Something. Oh, <laughs> this video features the very, very wonderful and talented Eva Holbrook from the band Shell. Um, in the meantime, while all this was going on, mine and Dave's lawyers were drafting up a contract for me to sign. And I obviously signed it. Alright, so I'm going to switch over the tracks now. And while Dave was mixing my songs in one of the world's best studios with a bunch of the world's best session musicians, that's exactly what I did. I didn't even think about it, just went straight to bed. Of course not! I stayed up pretty much all night. I couldn't sleep. I was smiling, my head off, rambling to my camera, saying random stuff that I can't even remember. Um, but anyway, <laughs> skip a month or two, and when the government would let me, I would go out with my friends and play, laugh, eat, drink, um, do as much as I possibly can. And then I filmed a live version of Tell Me Something on my brand new piano, Bertha. Uh, she's very wonderful. I love her very much. <laughs> and then Tell Me Something released. Uh, this song went all the way from the Bahamas to the UK, to the Bahamas, to the UK. <laughs> 
And then Dave went to Nashville, so the song went with him all the way to Nashville. And now it's yours. Uh, the link is in the description of this video. Anyway, speaking of sending things places, I then made a telegram list where you can sign up to get sent physical telegrams from me, uh, Otto, in the old post office, from the telegram room where I make my music. Uh, a bunch of you signed up, so this is the footage of me sending the first ever telegrams. Um, thank you to everyone who signed up. That's so cool. And then I did a live radio What's interview. What's it like listening back to it? I mean, I've had this song quite a few times. <laughs> um, no, it's great. It's great to hear it through the radio, to be fair. Yeah. Um, and uh, I, I'm not, I'm, unfortunately, I'm not like in a car with car speakers or anything, but uh, I hope it sounds great. I hope you all like it. <laughs> oh, we, we absolutely love it. We love everything you do. You know this. This is a beautiful record. It's championed by introducing in Wales. It's got a real charm to it. This Otto on Radio 1. Tell me something that I... Radio One play. <laughs> <laughs> run all the new songs. Uh, maybe this will make it into the 2020 vlog. We have packed the car, um, ready for the last festival. And around this time, I sent out the second batch of telegrams. And the next song I'll play, I came in tonight and I've got a massive pile of Christmas cards and I've been saying this on air that I think this year more than ever it's really important to send Christmas cards and I've enjoyed it so much writing little notes and just carefully selecting the pictures and the cards that I'm sending out to people and um, it's been lovely it's been a really lovely piece of calm in the madness that's going on around so I've enjoyed doing that and I've just got a card myself and it's an Otto telegram and it's from a guy who I've been playing on the show over the past couple of weeks and he's called Otto he uh, lives and works in the old post office and he makes really really good music so Otto thank you my first uh, Christmas card that I've received here at Radio 2 so I appreciate that and your words are really lovely too uh, this is Otto and this is Tell Me Something I Don't Know there we go, they're all sent off <laughs> and that sums up my 2020 I had my first ever record deal, my first ever Radio 1 and 2 play, more Ray listing from Radio Wales, thank you so much uh, I want to thank everybody that came to the live shows and I want to thank everybody that came to the online shows as well um, I want to thank Dave Stewart and the Bay Street team. You guys are absolutely amazing. And I want to thank Grant Tilbury as well for being a fantastic manager and a really cool guy. Um, and I am just really, really looking forward to 2021. Mm. I'll see you there.